top pieces cut. You can see here how I've cut them at the 45 degree angle in all the corners so it looks like a picture frame makes it look a lot nicer. Um, the nice coincidence of this is that the the width of the the width of the 1x4 added to the width of the 1x2 when you put them together it's the exact width of a 1x2 so when we put this top on here it lines up with our support 1x2 on the inside there so it's like kind of seamless looks really good let me uh, zoom in like that so you can kind of kind of tell okay so you can see how we're going to put this on eventually but what we've decided to do is we got to paint this whole thing black I mean, that's the whole idea of the solar dehydrator is you want it to warm up as much as possible so everything's got to be painted black. But we didn't want to attach this top part permanently and have the plexiglass in there permanently before we paint because we didn't want to get paint all over the plexiglass. So putting on these top boards is the last step in the whole process of building the cover. So what we're going to do is this is going to be the end of what we're going to do for now. We're going to take the plexiglass out and the top pieces off and paint them black when we finish the box part of the solar dehydrator and paint so we can paint the box at the same time we paint the lid and then after that's all dry we'll attach these, put the plexiglass back in, attach the top pieces and we'll be done.